Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube and Instagram channel, Christ on the Coast. Hey, I'm in the 2017 Toyota Tacoma truck. I just traded in the Civic Studio, the Honda Civic Studio, Andy Stewart. I traded it in and got a Tacoma truck. It's silver. It's got 50,000 miles on it. Hey, Debbie and I need a truck. Uh, we've always had a truck and we're moving and this was such a good deal. My Honda was worth a lot of money. I didn't realize it. So wasn't quite a straight across deal, but pretty close. So um, anyway, that's, uh, that's where I'm at this morning in beautiful Sunset Beach. Hey, we're going to talk about my Tacoma truck and God's grace um, as we take a walk on the beach. I love to tell stories and then uh, preach the gospel a little bit. This channel is dedicated to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who I love with all my heart. And we're going to take a walk right now in beautiful Sunset Beach. So here we go. All right. Good morning, you guys. I'll have to give you a... Yeah, here's the, here's the truck right here. Check this out. Look at this thing. Look at that. Look at that baby. That's a 2017. Can you believe it? Wow. It's his, uh, it's sparkling. Uh, so today's, today's video, I'm comparing uh, Jesus with uh, my truck. And here's what I mean. First of all, the way I got the truck was, uh, I was looking uh, on Sunday, Debbie and I were just discussing the fact that we had to borrow a truck to start uh, moving some stuff over to our uh, apartment because we're moving to Cayucas in about six months. We're uh, selling our house and we've already, uh, almost purchased the other house as we close escrow on this house. And so uh, I looked online and uh, saw a uh, used truck that just came on the market up in uh, Carson at Carson Honda. So I went up and checked it out. And so when I went up there, uh, they showed me the truck and it was, uh, I could kind of see through the dirt and the and the, they had just gotten it as a trade-in. They hadn't serviced it yet. They hadn't done all the things that they're gonna do to it. Um, so I saw the dirt and the dust and the uh, the tires were old on it. And, and uh, anyways, I was chatting with the guy. He said, oh yeah, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna put all new tires on it. It's gonna get completely detailed. It's gonna be, um, you know, it hasn't done that yet. And so I took a test drive on it and uh, agreed to buy it and, uh, this was on uh, this was on Monday, and I picked it up on Friday. So Andy Stewart hasn't seen it yet, so he's going to see it tomorrow morning. Um, so when I went up to uh, finish my deal, trading my car in, um, I went on the lot, and Francisco, my sales agent, he uh, he. Uh, took me right to the truck and it was kind of sitting right in the front of the Honda store and a beautiful ocean, really low tide today. Um, in front of the Honda store, kind of like in, uh, I don't know, it was kind of prominently displayed. It looked like a brand new truck. I'm in the new tires on it and shiny. There's one tiny ding on it. Interior was all shampooed and I mean, it was amazing. It looks so beautiful. And it's not unlike what happens to us when God uh, comes into our lives and we become born again. You see, our sinful nature that we have is representative of kind of the dirt that was on that truck. And it's, it's not our works that save us. People are so, uh, interesting when you discuss the things of God with them, uh, people will think that they're good. And, and Jesus says there is none good but God. So <clears throat> we, we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So our goodness, our works, um, our own righteousness of, of, of ourselves is not good enough to cover the sin 
that is inherently on all of us because of the fall of Adam and Eve. And so it's it's like it's like saying if I'm, you know, if if, if I'm in a sewer and I and and I'm I'm a tall person standing in a sewer and and I've got my head kind of sticking out of the the top of it, I'm still in the sewer. And that's exactly what our sin is. Our sinful nature is can only be appeased by the sacrifice, the atonement of Jesus Christ on the cross. And it's by grace that we're saved, we can't do anything to earn it. The interesting thing is when we understand that we're a sinner, we need a savior and we repent and we trust in Jesus for our salvation, trust in him alone, not by our good works, then the Holy Spirit comes, is deposited inside of us, is a seal of making us a child of God, but giving us eternal life and saving us from the, the wide road of self-reliance and that I'm good enough and I'm a good person to God-reliance, which is the narrow road, and it saves us from going to hell. And that is the story of the Bible. It's a love story. God's patience with us is unbelievable. And people think because that, that they're doing these good works that if there is the man upstairs or a higher power, which is really a bunch of baloney, there's God, okay? And he created all things. And Jesus willingly came down from his throne in heaven and died on the cross a horrible death, took the punishment that we all deserve, nailed it to the cross, and then rose from the dead and broke the chains of death. So if we repent, we trust in Jesus alone for our salvation, then we will be saved. All right, you guys, thanks for listening to my story this morning. It's beautiful out here. It's 68 degrees, and uh, that Tacoma truck, I am... I thank the Lord that I found that truck. It's absolutely beautiful. It's going to be a lot of fun. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, God in three persons, God in three persons. Blessed Trinity. Until next week, you guys. God bless you.